okay so welcome back to this channel so i have just released a course on nest.js so in this course we will build two different apis so in the first api which is a complete restaurant api in which we will use mongodb as database and build a complete restful api okay and also we will write a unit test and e to e test to make sure that our api is production ready we will add a bunch of features like authentication and map quest to generate the coordinates of address and also we will build a small library api in which i will show you that how we can connect to relational database like postgres and also we will see that how we can make relationships in relational database okay so in this course i have covered all about nest.js so if you really want to learn this amazing backend node.js framework to build powerful scalable and highly testable restful apis then you can enroll in this course you can simply find the link in the description of this video with the discounted price go to that link and enroll in this course if you really want to learn nest.js and now you can watch the complete demo of this api that we will build in this course so basically we are going to build our restaurant api okay in this api we are going to have three resources. first of all the restaurant resource then we have the authentication and then we have the meal okay so we have uh, in restaurant we have menu array that contain all the meals so this is the documentation of nest.js uh, restaurant api that we will build in this course so first of all in the restaurants i have this get all restaurants route so that will get all the restaurants in the database okay you can pass in here the keyword if you want to search any database then you can pass the page number if you want because we will also implement the pagination so you can pass keyword and page number also to implement the search and pagination for the get all restaurants route which is a get route and then we have the post route which is a create restaurant in that we will pass the name of the restaurant description email phone number category and then the address so once we send the post request from this address which is here the coordinates like latitude and longitude will be generated and get saved in the database okay so we will also implement the geocoder so we will basically geocode our address and get back our city zip code country code and then the latitude and then the longitude and save all that data in the database so we just have to provide the address so in this way we will create the restaurant moving on next we can get a single restaurant by id like we pass here the id of the restaurant and then we can access that particular restaurant and also uh, this create restaurant is a protected route you can see that we have to pass here the authorization and pass the bearer token in that so we will implement the authentication also so this route is protected and we have to be logged in to create a new restaurant then we have the update restaurant in which we will pass the fields that we want to update for that particular restaurant again this route is also protected we have to be authorized in order to update our restaurant and then we have the delete restaurant so we can actually delete the restaurant pass in the id and it will delete the restaurant from the database and also we will upload our restaurant images on our aws s3 bucket you can see that this is the upload restaurant images route in which we will pass in the form data we will pass our files okay you, you can upload multiple images okay so once we click on upload all the images will get saved in our aws s3 bucket and then we will save all the images responses that contains the url and save that in the database okay so we will also upload our restaurant images and once we delete a restaurant also the images associated with that restaurant also gets deleted from the aws bucket okay so we will upload the images and also we will delete the images once the restaurant is deleted so this is the restaurant resource and moving on next we have the authentication so in authentication first of all we will implement the register user we will pass the name email and password so when we will send this post request the password will be encrypted and then get saved in database we will not save this plain password we will encrypt this password and then save that encrypted password in the database okay and also we can assign a role to user we have admin and user roles so we can also pass here our role but automatically the user role will be assigned to a new user okay and we will implement the jwt authentication okay we will use password also and we will return the token to the user which is the json web token to the user once the user is registered and for the login we have to simply provide the email and the password and then if the email and password are correct we will uh, return the token which is the json web token to the user 
and also in the register we will ch also check the uh, duplicate emails that if user creates two accounts with one email we will throw the error that you, you cannot create two accounts with one email okay so we will also add the validations like make sure that the input is string make sure that the password length is eight okay so we will add all the validations also and moving on next we have the meal resource in which we can create a meal we will pass the name of the meal description price category and then the restaurant for which that meal is being created okay so once we send this post request the meal will be created and also that meal id will get saved in the particular restaurant menu array okay so we will create a meal and then we get back the id of that meal we will save that meal id in the menu of the restaurant and this is also a protected route and then we can get all the meals in the database so simply slash meals will give you all the meals and then we can get meals by restaurant we can simply provide the id of that restaurant and then it will give only the meals of that particular restaurant then we can get the meal by id then we can update a meal information like this we can pass here the name and that, that is also a protected route and then we will have delete meal that will basically delete the meal from the database okay so this is the api that we're going to build in this course so we will implement the authentication we will add the validation rules we will handle the errors we will generate the locations based on the address that we will pass in the restaurant and also we will build a small library crud api in which i will show you that how we can connect to postgres database which is a relational database and how we can make relationships like one to one and one to many okay so we will create these two projects i hope that you understand now i will see you in the next video in which we will discuss that what actually is nest js